Sparkling water sales are hot, and sales of it have nearly tripled over the past 10 years. So the question for Jack today is, does brand really make a difference, especially if you're dealing with the unflavored stuff? Yeah, I was a little skeptical about this. I was yeah. like, it's water. Are we going to taste the difference? <laughs> we did. The experts really felt like there were differences not only in the level of carbonation, but you will see in some of them sweet notes, salty notes, eggy notes. Really? Well, we'll see. <laughs> so, so these are all chilled because I think they will taste better that way. This is hard to taste. So there are basically two different types of products that you are tasting here. They're sparkling mineral waters mm -hmm. and seltzers. So sparkling mineral waters contain minerals because they come from underneath the ground and from a natural spring. They may have carbonation added to them. So they come to the surface with some carbonation, but some manufacturers will supplement that with additional carbonation. They do not add additional minerals. So whatever flavor is in that water, and that can be really sulfur compounds, which are giving you those eggy notes, or it could be um, sodium compounds, which are giving you salty notes. Mm -hmm. I think the eggy notes were more controversial and less liked by the tasting panel. They really felt like they don't want to <laughs> taste old eggs in, oh, wow. uh, okay. in their water. So how you doing there? Well, this is, a, this is a very hard tasting. The differences are nuanced, to say the least. Bubbles, I'm noticing. The bubbles in this one are very effervescent, very strong, whereas the bubbles in this one are very delicate. And I like delicate bubbles. You want delicate bubbles? <laughs> I do, I do. I like tiny bubbles. But this one was a little stinky. And this one was salty. And these two, I, I, you know, I don't know that I could even tell a difference in flavor. They're very clean. But this one was definitely salty. This one had a little stinkiness to it. That's about all I got. You know, if you've ever tasted flat seltzer water, it doesn't taste like tap water no. because the carbonation creates something called carbonic acid, which makes it a little tart. And so that was another flavor characteristic is some of these seemed more tart. And in general, if it's got more carbonation, it's going to be a little bit more tart. I mean, not really sour or acidic, but again, not like plain water. Right. So, you've gone back for thirds, maybe fourths on all of these. I'm well hydrated. You're well hydrated. <laughs> You're glowing, okay? Uh, I definitely have a favorite, was this one. The bubbles are very fine. It's on the edge of being flat, but I actually like that. And the flavor was just very clean. Okay. And this one, the bubbles were the strongest, and this one tasted salty. Okay, so you truly are a tiny bubble. Uh, yes, I am a tiny bubble. Should we start over here? Yeah. Which one I liked the best? Uh, so you like the San Pellegrino. Pellegrino, which was the bottom of the rankings <laughs> because our tasters want big bubbles ah, and lots of bubbles. There and you go. when we sent all of these out to the lab to analyze, that has the least carbonation. Yes, it does. And so if you want tiny bubbles, that's your choice. Most people do not want tiny bubbles. <laughs> Good to know. All right, now can we go to this one out of order? Because this one had a pronounced salty flavor. So this is our winner. This is a seltzer rather than a sparkling mineral water. Water, made down the road from our test kitchen here in Boston. It's made out in Worcester, and it's also the least expensive. Our tasters thought it was bubbly, mm -hmm. and they liked the flavor. Yeah, I can see why. It has flavor. All right, now next one, this one, which has the biggest bubbles I've ever seen. This is from Mexico, ah. Topo Chico. And again, this has significantly more carbonation per PSI measurements. And our tasters, it was number two overall because yeah. they liked a lot of bubbles. All right, last but not least, this one. Well, it's carbonated <laughs> tap water. Uh, That's so, Boston's finest right there. Yeah, so we carbonate <laughs> that ourselves. I was hoping you were going to choose that, oh, uh, you know. Well. Uh, so that seemed to be your least favorite. So maybe it is worth buying mineral water <laughs> or seltzer water. Oh, that's very interesting tasting. Thank you, Jack. So there you have it. When it comes to sparkling water, brand does make a difference. And our favorite is Polar Original Seltzer at 42 cents a can. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.